Brendan, do you copy? Uh, I copy, go ahead. Hi, this is Dan. Uh, I've got the Exploratorium people, the extra battery, and we are at the south western tip of Elson Lagoon. Just wondering your current location with respect to where we left you. We're kind of at the northeast corner of the lagoon. Um, Joe will head over towards you and then lead you back over here. We're at a hole that uh, Cooper just found, actually two holes, collecting uh, DNA. Sounds good. All right, I guess we're back off again. Okay. I trained him to do the, the sit, stay, lay down, crate training thing. Brendan trained him how to track the ring seals. Is that your notchick? Is that your notchick? Where's the notchick? Where is it? Where's the notchick? Show me. Notchick? Notchick means ring seal. Where is it? <laughs> where is it? Show me. Show me where it is. This hole through the ice, the seal has been maintaining since freeze-up last fall. So all winter long, the seal has to keep scratching at this hole to maintain access to the surface for air. And then they have these snow caves, as you can see, elaborated above them. That's where they come out of the water, and they're resting under the snow uh, and protected from cold and from predators. So I feel some air coming up. Maybe we can... Feel it? It's beginning to move again. All of a sudden, he gets the scent, and he like veers off, and then just charges, and it's 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 incredible to see, you know. And especially we can't, we have no way of smelling what he smells, you know. And he's smelling these seals from however many miles away. It's it's incredible. You know? breathing hole the seals come out of and you can see there it had been a seal lying here and where that depression is and that depression. This time of year they're molting so they're shedding all of their skin and hair and uh, they need to lie out in the sun on warm days like this in order for the new skin to, to grow.